Hi, it's Lanner Smith and it's Friday, San Francisco, time for a martini. Mmm. And time for a little um, trip back to uh, the late 70s and early 80s. Today I'm going to be reviewing two Estee Lauder perfumes, uh, one for men and one for women. Now Estee Lauder was founded uh, in the late 40s by um, uh, Estee Lauder and her husband and it was originally a, a, um, a, a beauty uh, regime kind of business, creams and things like that, beauty products, and it was door to door. Uh, a few years after they opened, they uh, moved into their first department store, which was Saks Fifth Avenue, and established themselves with their own counter. In the early 50s, Essay Lauder introduced her first uh, perfume, which was originally sold as a bath oil, and that was Youth Dew, which is still being produced today and is a really big seller. Uh, the first one will be Essay Lauder's Lauder for Men, which was created in 1985. Um, and the other one was created a bit earlier in the middle of the disco era of 1978, and that is Cinnabar for Women. Um, so let's uh, begin with uh, notes for louder uh, for men. Louder for men, the top notes are juniper berries, clary sage, green notes, anise, galbanum, mandarin, coriander, cardamom. The mid notes are carnation, jasmine, lily of the valley, rose, and vetiver. And the bottom notes are sandalwood, amber, patchouli, musk, oak moss, vanilla, and cedar. And let me tell you, uh, even though it was created in, in the time of the big shoulders and the uh, fill the room uh, fragrances of the 80s, it, it's, uh, in its present form, it's much more uh, relaxed and laid back and has a very classic barbershop, just had your hair cut, talcum powder uh, vibe to it. It's, it's a classic, uh, I think that uh, it... Uh, is something that anyone who's interested in the history of perfume might want to uh, uh, explore. It really is a a fine masculine scent, um, and it's still sold today. I got mine at at, at uh, Neiman Marcus at the Estee Lauder counter, and uh, I really really enjoy it. I like to wear it for work. Uh, and for times when I want to be casual but still have a little bit of a sophisticated edge. It is a sophisticated, a casual sophisticated fragrance. So uh, that's a stay louder, uh, louder for men. Now we're moving back to uh, the age of the disco and, and um, I can tell you it was quite a time. Um, and uh, something I would smell sometimes on the women who came into the discos was there were two things that really stuck out to me. One was opium and the other was Cinnabar. Uh, Cinnabar, um, Barbara Herman in her wonderful book uh, Scent, Scent and Subversion talks about Cinnabar being compared to opium, uh, but in fact she says that it's much more like a, a uh, flanker to youth do, uh, kind of in, youth do intense, and it definitely does have that, that signature. The notes uh, in in Cinnabar, now, now they're similar in many ways to the notes in Louder, but I'll read them off to you anyway. The top notes are spices, peach, cloves, tangerines, orange blossom. The mid notes are carnation, cinnamon, jasmine, ylang ylang, rose, lily of the valley, and lily. The bottom notes are tulu balsam, sandalwood, amber, patchouli, incense, vanilla and vetiver and benzoin. And Barbara mentions in her book that it kind of works its way backwards. It seems that the, the bottom notes take on uh, the top position and it works its way down. And it certainly does because it starts off very much an incense, ambery, a bit of vanilla and benzoin. It's very exotic. And uh, then it moves into the mid where the cinnamon, where it gets its name cinnabar, uh, really takes over and blossoms and blooms into this wonderful spicy, uh, spicy, a little bit of animalic, even though there are no animalic notes listed, it definitely has a, 
it, it's like the 70s, they embraced, as Barbara says in her book, they embraced the, the body odors. Instead of trying to cover them up, they would embrace them. So it definitely has that little bit of a nasty girl dancing around in there. And uh, it's really beautiful. It's, uh, it might be a challenge to younger noses, but it is definitely something that I think um, is worth investigating. So that was our trip from Studio 54 uh, to the Carrington Mansion and Dynasty. Uh, Estee Lauder covered that era uh, quite well with uh, Lauder for Men and uh, Cinnabar. And also, uh, they both can be worn by men and women today. They really do cross over uh, each into an area of unisex, in my opinion. Definitely, definitely both are just smashing wonderful uh, fragrances. So this is Liner Smith from Sense Memory. Cheers, and uh, remember, wear what you love and not what they say you should like. Ciao for now.